Lord Baden-Powell was a British general and founder of the modern scouting movement. He served in the British Army from 1876 to 1910. He became a national hero during the Boer War of 1899 to 1900, when, with a small garrison, he commanded the defense of Maeve King, South Africa. It was during the war that Baden-Powell wrote down a guide to scouting. Initially meant for military purposes, after the war he felt it could be used as a focus for young boys to give them more meaning for life. In August 1907, Baden-Powell organized a trial scouting camp to be made up of boys from a diverse social background. They spent a week at Brown Sea Island, England, and it proved to be a great success. From this initial starting point, the scouting movement soon blossomed, and within a few years it grew from a national institution to a worldwide phenomenon. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the First World War temporarily destroyed much of this international feeling. Instead, many of those scouts used much of their training in the trenches of the Western Front. However, a post-war scouting convention in 1920 saw a rebirth of the movement where Lord Baden-Powell was declared Chief Scout. Baden-Powell retired from the scouting movement in 1937. He returned to Africa, where he lived at Nyeri, Kenya. He died there in 1941 at the age of 83. He was buried in Nyeri in sight of Mount Kenya. On his headstone are the words, Robert Baden-Powell, Chief Scout of the World. In 2007, during the British centenary of scouting, it was estimated that there were 38 million members of scouts in over 216 countries. Towards the end of his life, although still in good health, Baden-Powell prepared a message to his scouts for publication after his death. It read, Dear Scouts, if you have ever seen the play Peter Pan, you'll always remember how the pirate chief was always making his dying speech because he was afraid that possible when the time came for him to die, he might not have time to get it off his chest. It is much the same with me, and so, although I am not at this moment dying, I shall be doing so one of these days, and I want to send you a parting word of goodbye. Remember, it is the last time you will ever hear from me, so think it over. I have had a most happy life, and I want each of you to have a happy life too. I believe that God put us in this jolly world to be happy and enjoy life. Happiness does not, does not come from being rich, nor merely being successful in your career, nor by self-indulgence. One step toward happiness is to make yourself healthy and strong while you're a boy, so you can be useful and so you can enjoy life when you're a man. Nature study will show you how full of beautiful and wonderful things God has made the world for you to enjoy. Be contented with what you've got and make the best of it. Look on the bright side of things instead of the gloomy one. But the real way to get happiness is by giving out happiness to other people. Try and leave this world a little better than you found it, and when your turn comes to die, you can die happy in the feeling that at any rate you have not wasted your time, but have done your best. Be prepared in this way to live happy and to die happy. Stick to your scout promise always, even after you have ceased to be a boy, and God help you to do it. Your friend, Baden-Powell of Gitwell.